We recently did a camping trip to Yosemite in the valley and there was a very tight uh, spot that I needed to get this trailer into. I knew I was going to have a little trouble with the truck getting it in there. So I brought this thing along, which I've never used on this trailer. While I got the trailer in there with that purple tool, I then hooked this guy up to try to fine tune the parking and I ran into a problem. It kind of worked and then it kind of didn't. Because of this angle right here, it just doesn't work right. I'm going to try to fit this trailer into this spot. I'm pretty sure we can get in there. There's really no way to get in this spot, I don't think. I'm very nervous about this whole thing. This is not going to work. No way. No way. Look at all these boulders. This is not possible. It's not going to happen. I think it's going to fit. After all my judgment. Shamed. Okay, there we go. So you literally have never used this on the trailer, Dada? Not on this trailer. Uh, yeah, this is when we make a YouTube that's going to go viral because the trailer's going to roll into the river. Oh my gosh, if this thing goes down into the river, I'm going to have a fit. I can't get to the river, Pam. Why? Much better with the tool. <laughs> so the trailer valet was a little bit of a fail to move this big trailer around because this tongue has this angle here, an angled spacer to go in there, and that angle makes it impossible to turn. It kind of worked, but not very well at all. Yosemite Falls. Put that nice little feature there, too. Today I'm going to attempt to do a modification or fix to this trailer valet so that I can use it, properly use it, on this 28-foot-ish travel trailer. This angle right here prevents this thing from sitting properly on here and tilted it way out. Let's see if I can make a spacer adapter thing out of this oak or maybe I'll make it a half inch here and go to one eighth over here. Big lock washer, eh? I'm gonna see if I can wedge this thing. How about that? give this a try now. Dish this end right here for this bump right here. I think the wood is just going to split though, but at least maybe I'll have a prototype to make something out of steel or aluminum. This actually looks pretty good to take off a little bit more off of this end. It's much improved. I'm going to tighten it up and see if the wood splits. Not yet, but it's not uh, perfectly 90 degrees when it does that. I just put a new belt on my belt sander and machined this thing down. I'm going for round two on the belt sander. Looks like i got to sand it down yet one more time.
Here's an interesting little side note. It's July 31st. It never rains in California. Still could be a little bit thinner on this end, but I'm gonna give it a try. <laughs> didn't hold up. The front of the tongue went down into the wood. Well, that just didn't work. There's my wedge. This video is starting to get a little long, so I'll try to condense this last portion. I don't know if it's going to work. I got this wedge. It's cast iron from McMaster Car. I made a little template that shape, and I drew it out on that cast piece, so I need to cut these guys out for this thing to fit onto the ball. I don't know that this is the right tool. I may end up with some sort of grinder on a rotary tool. We'll find out. So far so good. Now I gotta do the curvy part. Not bad. I have a tendency when I do this kind of stuff to make the hole too small. Hopefully I'm not doing that because then I do it twice, right? Ken's Machine Shop. There's my first pass. Now the question is... Not bad. A tiny little bit of filing I would say. I think it fits this way now. I'll file it a little bit more. That was easier than I thought it would be. This thing passes through there now. Remember when I showed you the rain? It's supposed to be well over a hundred degrees today. Do I want to go out there in this heat and attempt to try this trailer valet. It's so hot. Uh oh, first problem. The little nub just hit. All right, I need to do another modification. Everything's hooked up. The ball is latched. Can I move it back about six inches? That releases the brake on the trailer valet. I think my drill, drill motor just gave out. I just went and got the manual hand crank. Well, it's moving. It's not easy to do. All right, so I was trying to roll over that 4x4. So I need to go forward, take that wheel stop out and try again. Might work a little better this time. Let's see if I can go back about that far. Oh, that's a little better. <laughs> Lesson learned, don't try to do your trailer valet over a 4x4. I'll come back this way and then go backwards one more time. There's the wheel chocks. There's the 4x4. Four four. Not bad. As soon as you let go of this handle, it puts a brake on the tires down there. I think I have this one solved. Put the wheel chocks where they belong, level the trailer back to how it should be, level, and be done for the day because it is blistering hot out here. So we end up with only two iterations of this piece, a wooden prototype and a production model. I'm thrilled with the results of this. That is really cool. It's something that works now. Actually it worked before, now it'll work with the big trailer. 
I've got one last modification to this wedge piece. Uh, this thing was hitting, filed out this area right here. I don't think it's enough to try to clear this business here. Uh, this thing tightened up and there is still a bit of a gap right here. I just need to clear this out a little bit more. Is that enough? I believe I have my finished product now. That gap is, uh, there's a little bit of gap there, but this thing is weird. It's almost dished, rounded down here. So there's actually a gap on this end too. But look how this trailer valet now, this thing is very, very level. This is what I was after. Cool. Done with this project. Now I'll probably never use this thing again.